So guys, welcome to my first Team of the Season player review of FIFA 17 and today we are starting off with Galatasaray winger Bruma, who I did in fact review at left forward in the 4-3-2-1 formation. Anyway guys, just before we get into this review, if you could leave a like on the video that would be very much appreciated because uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of content coming your way and the support would definitely be appreciated. Also, if you leave a comment, let me know which other Team of the Season players you'd like to see me review, that would be awesome too. Anyway, back onto Team of the Season Bruma. As I mentioned in previous videos, I did think that most of these Team of the Season Gold most consistent cards would be pretty cheap. And I do feel that like 50 to 60k is a pretty fair price, especially considering that I picked him up just after 6 o'clock when he'd just come out. Anywho, let's talk stats. Physically, as you can see, there are a lot of pleasing green attributes and some 99 to 2, which obviously is very nice. It's a shame about his strength, um, as he can get knocked around a bit, but he does have good balance, so for the most part, he will stay on his feet. Skill stats wise, Broom has got some pretty appealing attributes with the likes of his 94 dribbling, his 96 shot power and of course his 87 crossing. So now onto the important bit, how does he perform in game and I think we'll get the negatives out the way first. As you saw in the skill attributes, he has 80 finishing. Now I'm not saying that's bad, but for a team of the season card, it's not great and in game you definitely felt that. His finishing's okay, but for a team of the season card, I did feel a little bit disappointed in that. The only other minor issue I had with this card was his strength which as I previously mentioned isn't the best but for a fast winger you can't expect him to be really strong. Anyway enough negative talk let's talk let's be positive yeah let's be happy it's team season time let's be positive. Bruma's fast very fast to be honest to be honest I don't know he's absolutely rapid and you'll see in the clips he just bends past players with ease and that's one of the things that kind of annoys me about what EA did with this card like why not just give him 99 pace come on EA you may as well have, but um, anyway, in-game, I don't think it would have made too much difference. He is freaking quick. Which, as you can imagine, as a self-confessed pace haul, I loved. On the ball, he's great. He's got a good first touch, great control, and he's very good when dribbling with the ball. Shooting now, as I mentioned earlier, I wasn't overly impressed with his finishing, but I do want to reiterate, that's not me saying it's bad, just not as good as I expect like a team this season card to be. His finesse was good though, it probably helps that he's got a pretty high curve stat, and his shot power is definitely effective too. When it comes to passing, no complaints from me, I love this crossing and he makes some great deliveries. The last thing I want to mention is his positioning, which I was impressed with. He made some great runs, got into some good spots, and he was very effective on the counter-attack, especially with that breakaway pace. So, in summary, Bruma is rapid, so, you know, buy him. He's fun. I'm going to give him an 8.9 out of 10. It's a solid card. I do wish his finishing was better, but still, he's definitely worth trying, in my opinion. But is he better than his Portuguese teammate? Hmm, well, you'll have to watch the Gelson Martins review to find out, and that will be up on the channel very soon. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you leave a like on the video, that as always would be very much appreciated. Leave a comment, let me know if you've tried him, how it was for you, and also who I should review next. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.